Hi guys, and welcome to your November 2019. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Scorpio on the bottom here. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hello, Scorps. How are you? How are you? Uh, Scorpio, I'm going to take a little bit longer in your energy. Can I find my, my torch? I guess I can't. Um, only because it is Mercury retrograde. You're going to be activated to do um, some, profound, some profound things in the 1111 portal. Um, the sun is going to conjunct um, Mercury in Scorpio, which is retrograde, um, first of all. And then we have this beautiful energy happening in your season while Mercury is in retrograde. It's just a lot of good things going on with the portal. There are plenty of videos on YouTube, um, you can go to my community um, tab in my uh, community comments and take a look on my channel at the information that I have uploaded for you. Um, of course, this has been a extremely cathartic season for you. I hope that your birthday season finds you guys well and in good spirits, but uh, tag your it. There's been a lot of um, a lot of messages are surrounding you um, about you reclaiming your power and getting back to things. So, you know, I read you guys' energy for the month already. Now I'm going to be bringing you things from your partner's perspective. And I do see some things that they feel about you. Um, and I see the struggle between you guys. So um, your partner um, is acknowledging that you are a soulmate. And this is a beautiful card. All of the cards that I'm using are linked down below. We will not spend too much time on um, the cards other than for me to let you know that this is the Universal Love Healing Oracle deck. And this is the card, the deck that I've chose to um, deliver my messages this month, Soulmate. And what I want to do is read this to you um, because... Some of these are very profound. Like, you know, obviously we all think we know what a soulmate is, but I was drawn to this deck for their beautiful interpretation of it. And uh, Scorpio, if you are watching to find out how whoever you're connecting with feels about you, I really want you to pay attention to this message and I'm going to leave this card up for you. So love is the divine and universal energy of life. It is alive, intelligent, and in a constant communion, okay, with all creation. When love calls, go get her, okay? You go to her. Search for love no, no matter where the journey takes you. Remember, somewhere another soul is in search for you. Somewhere a heart longs for your companionship, Scorpio. Honor your soul made by continuing your quest for great love until today's longing becomes tomorrow's joy. Until today's longing becomes tomorrow's joy. Until then, prepare by respecting and caring for yourself. Gather riches of kindness, knowledge, compassion, strength, and vulnerability. The questers deep is dreaming and rejuvenating is here. You is, and it is here that you will meet until you find each other. Okay. If you are already with your soulmate, this is a reminder to treasure and be grateful for the love that you share. Someone took this connection for granted, Scorpio. Your partner is definitely saying that you have done it. Um, as a result, you are definitely um, who they are saying is their soulmate. But in that, in that vein, I want you to know that... They are suffering here, okay? They're suffering and they're suffering in silence right now. And there are some things that you have to fix. Of course, this is, um, it could be, like I said, an extremely cathartic time or depending on what lessons you have to learn individually, you know, it could bring and conjure up this type of energy. Um, your partner right now, because of the grief that they suffer, is definitely in the four of cups. Now, again, I am reading for the collective. So if you find that already I've hit a nerve and this is what someone is doing to you, then that's fine. What I am saying is, is this person is not trusting divine right now, not trusting this soulmate energy that they felt and that they put their energy in, um, because of the suffering. All right. They're suffering big time. As a result, you guys may not be together right now. 
Um, I do see hermit energy here. Virgo is here. Um, there's been a, a sort of a journey that needed to take place or that is needing to take place. Um, and that journey is a solo mission. Okay. So someone, um, definitely, or your partner, it, this is what they're not telling you that they're going through because they're suffering. They've maybe broken away from you, trying to figure it all out. In the heart of the matter, there is definitely a murder that has taken place an assassination of the heart here. Um, Sorry for such strong language, but the imagery on this card tell, tells us anything, everything. It's depicting the death, which is ironic because that's your major arcana, although that transformative energy is not here. So this is what's in the heart of the mat matter. There has been some things between you guys that have definitely taken place. Um, let me put my pyrite on, please. Um, and as a result there's been a breaking down. There's no communication. Let me apply a little bit of Mac, please. Just a little bit. Thank you. Thank you for being patient with me. Okay. Um, there's been no communication. If any walking on eggshells around one another, um, you guys are holding back. We have four, two fours here in your energy. Someone feels like the other party is supposed to apologize. I'm just going to let you know. Someone definitely feels like it's the other's per other person's responsibility to deliver that apology. There is a lot of holding back, as I stated, keeping things to yourself right now. There are some financial things going on that you may be experiencing, Scorpio, but if you are and you and your partner are not talking as the cards are predicting, I'm letting you know that they are also going through some type of financial thing. Maybe you guys live together and now you are not living together anymore. I'm not sure how you guys' finances cross. Typically in a situation where you are a couple, um, you probably live together. It's just the most logical thing to think of. Um, and right now your partner is planning on the horizon, trying to figure out what they're going to do in this three of wands. Now they're trying to put from this thought here to action. Okay. So they're going to be taking some actions, um, towards you, whatever they're going through in this Herman energy. Cause they're, they're, they are literally are in the dark with a flashlight. They're trying to figure out what they want to do. And whatever they come up with, they're going to take some action. Now, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn twice. Um, Scorpio, you definitely are, are connecting with a Capricorn. Cap is somewhere up and through here. We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius up and through here as well. All right. And then to add insult to injury, the bottom of the deck, we are up at night with the nine of swords. Um, this is a 10. So hold it. When you go to, from the eighth, I'm sorry, to the, to the 10 of swords or any 10 that's completion, good, bad, or indifferent. So this is about to change. I'm just letting you know. So cross watcher, if you are watching this on behalf of your Scorpio and you agree with what I'm saying to you so far, you're about to take action towards something that you've been planning. But what I see here is that there's going to be a brand new ace of swords that's going to be in your um, energy pretty soon. However, that's a separate entity um, although these are still swords, I feel like you have a lot of anxiety. Maybe you are the person that worries. Okay. So now I'm back talking to everybody. So Scorpio, your person is losing sleep over this situation. They may have some anxiety. They may be a little depressed over the fact that it didn't work. Um, this is what they desire. This ace of pentacles. Now this ace of pentacles is very, very close, but there's a sacrifice here. In order for this person to be up at night, there is a sacrifice. You come with something. There is something that they must give up. There's something that they must do. There is something and they either feel like there's something that they must do, which is not properly getting its just due in order for them to take it back, take you back. So it's like, well... I can take Scorpio back, but there's something that they don't trust that you're going to do if you guys move into that space again. Peek at the past right here. Um, there's always been some doubt. 
I can't wait to get into these other cards to show you how these parallel, but someone has been very, very, um, it's been very hard trying to stay optimistic in this particular energy. Um, religious factors. Now, some of you guys is playing flat out religion. It is religion, religion, religion. I see this card and I always have to say that, but not necessarily. A lot of you guys are just raised differently and you come together with these differences and try to fight through these differences. You know, one person, and I don't want to get into creed and class and money, but this is what has been driven, has driven a huge rift between you and that person. Um, there is a difference in the way you guys deal with things. Um, influence and upbringing, the way you were raised, the way you pay bills, your conditioning as a child. Um, and as a result of that, there's a lot of that going on between you two. You have to handle and heal your family issues individually before you can come together. But if you see this, there's a child here that maybe you guys right there have together. So this is deep rooted healing family issues. You have to forgive your parents for some things. You bring that into this. I feel that that's for the collective, for both of you. Um, Scorpio, your partner or this person has been talking to their friends and trying to get some support. One second. Um, and get the situation um, resolved. That's not what I was trying to do over here, by the way. That's what we see. Okay. I um sorry guys. This is so silly. There we go. Thank you. There we are. Sorry about that. Okay. So one or both of you could be doing this. I feel like your partner is definitely trying to make sense of things. If you are here, I've been getting that a lot, um, a lot in energies. If you're here, um, obviously, um, you know, you're going to watch your tarot readings. You're trying to be a little bit more spiritually in, uh, inclined. Um, Scorpio, it could be a lot of things that they're going through, but, um, or that they're doing as far as asking for support with their friends. And finally, I think both of you guys definitely needs to forgive and learn. But Scorpio, again, this is what they're not telling you. There has been a hiding as you release and heal the past, including the family issues. You experience more love in your present moments. Let's get into my wild cards here. I've already pre-shuffled and I was telling you guys that some of you, I probably will, but there was a loss here. I, I was telling you guys that I, if I shuffle, I'm supposed to shuffle the Souls Journeys cards on camera just to kind of solidify the message. But when I was tapping in, it was too good. I couldn't. And some of you, I, I, I have to do that. Um, one of the, the things um, that has plagued this relationship and just torn it to smithereens is grief. There is a grieving over the separation of the, the first time, the second time, the third time there was a breakup. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. No one appreciated it. Someone didn't appreciate it. They took it for granted. That is a huge problem. Okay. Now I also see indecision. Okay. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. There has been indecision in this grief and indecision. The grief came about when this ended. There's so much deeply rooted family issues. You have to start there. There's a lot here, Scorp. I want you to really think about what I'm saying. And then finally, I think there is loneliness. Okay, I know that I am never alone, but someone feels that someone does not understand them. And then I have to give you this one too. There's a lot of pride and this isn't the good pride. This is, this is, I love myself and see myself in everyone, but someone used this as, used it as a tool, had too much pride to come back, especially right now. So somewhere out there, you, your two hearts, you guys are established soulmates and you are grieving over one another. But Scorpio, I'm here to tell you that um, your, your partner is suffering. They're suffering 
um, from your from your absence, and they just am is sitting here reflecting right now, and they want an apology. They want some type of figuring out of things because they can't let this go. This, you, you, I mean, and there's just a lot of healing. There's a lot of healing. You guys aren't talking to one another. You're talking about one another with other people. Um, so there is, there's a lot of grief. There's a lot of suffering here. Um, and they may not be telling you that Scorpio, they may be, you know, just playing the role like, oh, I'm good. But like I said, there's grief. There's indecision. This person can't make their mind up. There's loneliness and there is a lot of pride. I mean, I could put all of these together for you. This is exactly what this person is dealing with. Now, just to go back, we have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. We have Virgo energy here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have all hands on deck. Okay. All hands are on deck. So, I feel like this is speaking to a large majority of you, um, different combinations. Some piece of this reading resonates with a little bit of all of you because we have everything here. And again, religious factors, and it was hard to stay optimistic. Actually, this is the difference. This, this and healing family issues and forgiving and learning, this is a huge deal. It was very hard to stay optimistic. Because, you know, there was not enough positive thinking here. Um, this is a little similar to, was it Taurus's video? One of the videos that had both of these, was it Leo? There was one more that brought both of these down in the exact same um, fashion. Um, I don't remember which one. Um, I believe it probably could have been Leo. Um, so only, you know, but again, um, there needs to be some apologies. You know, I feel like Scorpio, you should kind of wave the white, white flag, uh, because this person is really suffering and they're suffering and they feel like they're going through all of this based on things that you have done or have not done. So you know, I don't know. I, I, you know, intuitively, I usually let you know whether I'm feeling like who's doing what. I kind of feel like this is for both of you guys right now and that you guys are soulmates, but maybe the space is what is needed. Okay. I don't know. Um, I really, really think that a lot has to do, I mean, really all of these, I, I just can't, I can't like leave these alone. It's all of them. It's pride loneliness it's it's indecision it's grief it's all of these let me know if that resonates with you i, I feel this person can't make their mind up i don't know scorp this is what they're not telling you they either feel this way about you um or this is what they're doing to you it, it just is either or i i don't feel um sort of with that gemini or leo video um i feel like you know, it's, it's, a uh, it's time for some deep spiritual healing just because that's what that video was about. There's fire here. So I can bring that up. Some of you guys definitely got some fire up in the mix, but, uh, I can go on and on. I just, I, I feel this grief and this indecision. I'm telling you, I keep going back to those cards, um, and the differences in the way you were raised, it can get deep. So if you resonate with that, um, this is a short month. I will not be taking any personal readings after November 24th. And I come back um, for personal readings on December the 3rd. So please, if you want to book a reading, Scorpio, and I, this is my call to action for you guys, because I know, um, you know, you, you would like that one-on-one -on -one rather than dropping things in the comments. Um, I know I, I try to respect you guys as privacy. Um, but if you resonate with this and you want me to read you, please drop it like it's hot down there. Let me know what's going on. Email me if you want to talk about it. Um, but if you want a book and you want me to let you know if you resonate with this, then go ahead because it's going to be a short month for the holiday season. Um, there's a lot to do and I will be offline for about seven days. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with this soulmate card. Your divine energy oracle messages are posted on channel two. 
right now. I did your astro snip, which I really did miss. I'm going to go back on and do a couple more things before the month is over with on channel two. Please, that link is below. You don't have to ask anymore. Go ahead and uh, support your girl and check my channel out. To everybody else, I will see you back here next week when we do it again. I'm going to give you another video examining what your partner is and telling you from the 15th through the 31st, and I'll see you then. Bye, Scorpio.